Hello, let's do some dynamic routing using routing information protocol in Cisco Packet Tracer. I start with one empty router. We can enter. Actually, I started with two of them. I'm going to delete this one and then enter into this router. We turn it off. We add to copper fast Ethernet uh, interfaces, three of them. Actually, we turn on the router, connect the router to a network. In th for this presentation, the network is only going to be one computer. Okay, now let's clone this network. And now we have three networks. And I'm going to use a switch to connect uh, the first two routers together using copper straight through cable and let's set up IP addresses let's rename this router if I can it's going to be uh, router 1 uh, this is going to be R2 and this is going to be R3 ok let's set up IP addresses for um, the first network this is going to be network 1 and I'm going to uh, assign uh, network class like this 1.0.0.0 with netmask 255.0.0.0 this is network 1 this is network 2 and it's going to be 2.0.0.0 with 255.0.0.0 and network 3 is going to be um, 3.0.0.0 with um, net mask of 255.0.0.0 ok and for the network uh, for this network which is going to be uh, a network that interconnects the routers I'm going to use an um, other network range let's call it NR network of routers and we're going to set up 10.0.0.0 255.0.0.0 ok, let's do this on router 1 I'm going to set up 1.0.0.0 1.0.0.1 actually I cannot set 0 the router is the network address ok uh, and for the second one is going to be 10.0.0.1 I'll take the second router and here we set up 2.0.0.0 I'm doing the same mistake over and over again so you don't have to do it ok and for the, the other interface I'm going to use 10.0.0.2 ok now we have two interconnected networks N1 and network 1 and network 2 in order to be able to reach from PC2 to, to the copy of PC2 in this network we had to set up routing tables in R1 and R2 and let's do this automatically using routing information protocol from command line interface uh, you type exit 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 and starting from zero if you are here you should enter enable mode then configure from terminal and we configure the uh, routing information protocol like this routing router 
our IP and we can see all the commands that we, uh, we can use here I'm only going to use three of them I'm going to set up the version I'm going to disable auto summary because uh, I want to use subnetting and I'm going to declare the networks that I'm connecting to so for router R1 I'm connected to network N1 and the network N R, the network of routers so firstly version 2 no auto summary and we declare the networks that I'm connected to which are 1.0.0.0 and 10.0.0.0 ok that was easy let's set up the other router in command line interface we're going to enter router rip version 2 no auto summary network 2.0.0.0 and network 10.0.0.0 ok and now because we enabled the routing information protocol um, the router should, should exchange information and let's see how uh, is the routing table right now show IP route and we can see the two networks that I'm connected to and the new network that I, I've learned from router R1 and the same in router R1 I can show IP routes and I can see two directly connected networks and the third one which was learned using uh, routing information protocol let's see what's going to happen if we add another router let's configure R3 to use uh, on the internal interface 3.0.0.0 3.0.0.1 ok and on the network of routers I'm going to use 10.0.0.3 ok let's see the routing table for this router immediately after I'm going to connect this router to the switch ok and now the routing table here show IP route and I can see that router 3 can see only two networks network 3 and the network of routers because uh, net a router 3 doesn't have uh, a RIP enabled yet so let's enable it config t router RIP uh, version 2 no auto summary network 3.0.0.0 and network 10.0.0.0 ok now if I want to show IP routes not yet it might take a while and this router should learn the other routes from uh, taking too long for no particular reason ok now we can see that uh, it learned one route from router 1 and it should and now it learned two routes and let's see what happened without any modification from us in router 1 because we there is a new neighbor in town initially we have only one route learned dynamically now we have two routes learn from router 2 and router 3 ok let's connect another router and with another computer behind it and I'm going to use a crossover again and this was a router without any network interface I will delete it and I will add this one which has two network interfaces uh, let's set up a crossover connection between them and set up IP addresses 
for this network I'm going to use let's call it network 4 and I'm going to use 4.0.0.0 with 255.0.0.0 set up the router to use IP address is 4.0.0.1 for the internal network and for the other network we don't know what to set up why because uh, I'm going to connect router um, let's call it router 4 R4 I'm going to connect it to R3 directly I'm going to use a crossover again and in R3 I'm going to uh, use the, the, the only available <laughs> network interface so I'm going uh, we created another network a network of routers connect, uh, which connects router 4 to router 3 and I'm going to set up another uh, IP address for this network let's call it uh, 20.0.0.0 this is an R2 and I'm going to use the netmask 255.0.0.0 okay let's do this in R4 set up IP address 20.0.0.1 and in R3 we set up 20.0.0.0 now we have connection we have to configure routing information protocol in R4 and we add something more in R3 let's start with R3 because R3 is now connected to three networks to network 3 to the network of uh, routers uh, the first one which has this switch and the third network the, the second uh, network of routers which is this one ok we enter command line interface and uh, in router RIP we add the new newly created network network 20.0.0.0 we only have to do this for router 3 which is in another network right now we don't have to do this for router 2 or router 1 and we configure a RIP on router 4 as well so router rip version 2 no auto summary uh, network uh, 4.0.0.0 and network 20.0.0.0 and let's see the routing table now at the beginning we have we can see only the two connected networks which is this one and 4 and uh, NR, uh, NR2 and let's hope that yes, it already run everything else from the network and meanwhile routing 1 uh, should have learned of the existence of this network even though we didn't do any modifications here this is due to routing information protocol ok so this is how you uh, do dynamic routing using routing information protocol in packet tracer.